all new at six. Many of these walk buttons that you push your crosswalks around Boston. Well, it turns out they're a big waste of time because they don't actually work. And they were designed that way. WBZ's Tiffany Chan hit the streets and explains why. Pressing that pedestrian button might not help you cross the street any faster. The majority of these buttons in downtown Boston either work some of the time or not at all. Boston's transportation department says it all depends on traffic. People waiting to cross busy Tremont Street say they're not surprised. Is it frustrating? I kind of always assumed they didn't really do very much. True Bostonians don't wait for crosswalk lights. We just cross. Wait. City officials say that traffic gets so congested in the city, especially here in downtown Boston, that it doesn't make sense for one pedestrian to slow the flow of traffic. Pedestrians really don't know what to expect. The advocacy group Walk Boston has been petitioning the city to either post signs on the buttons or to remove them altogether to prevent people from jaywalking. People won't wait for more than about 45 seconds unless there's a steady, steady stream of traffic. But if people are asked to wait too long at intersections, they will go ahead and cross. The transportation department says these push buttons are essential in a statement that reads in part, a locator tone on accessible traffic signals guides visually impaired pedestrians to the push button and an audible message is provided when it is safe to walk. Pedestrian buttons were fully functioning decades ago, back when fewer cars were on the road. In Boston, Tiffany Chan for WBZ News.